Hi there, this is Jen, and thanks so much for stopping by today. Today I am making a project for Visible Image Stamps, and it is going to be using this really awesome stamp set called White Rabbit. And the great thing about this stamp set and about some of the stamp sets that are coming out on the new release tomorrow is is that there are coordinating dies which is awesome and there are the black dies which is almost like a it's almost like it's a powder coated die they cut really beautifully um, and there are some coordinating dies with some of the new stamp sets that come out tomorrow as well as some really super awesome um, kind of element type of dies so I've already gone ahead and I have stamped up the rabbit image in some memento black ink and I originally did a little bit of coloring with some gray tones in the Ohuhu alcohol markers and then I am taking this graphite pencil to add a little bit more shadow to the image I am using a 2b graphite pencil which means the higher the number uh, the darker and the softer the pencil is and since this is a2 it's a little bit um, a lighter or a little grayer than maybe like a9 would be um, and the graphite pencils are great because you can blend them out with a blending stump and um, I think it just adds some really beautiful shadows to your images and then I finished coloring up the rabbit with the Ohuhu um, alcohol markers. I also added a few of the tiny hearts from the One Kind Word stamp set. And then I took that fabulous die and I cut out my image. And I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. Um, I had these playing cards from Heidi Swap. These are so old. I don't even know how old. Um, but they're about 5 by 7 in size. And I thought it would be perfect for the background for my rabbit. So I wanted to prep the surface so that I could work with them. I wasn't sure, like always, exactly what I was doing for the background. So um, just to make sure that it didn't ruin the card, I went ahead and prepped with the clear gesso first. And then once that dried, I took a opaque white gesso for the middle portion because I didn't want that portion to be seen. But I did want those hearts on the diagonal um, edges to be seen. And so at first I tried applying the gesso with a baby wipe and it is super light. And then, of course, I didn't let it dry. And so it was more difficult to add um, even more of the gesso to kind of hide that image. So I took my... I believe this is a silicone brush and tried to move it around and since that gesso underneath was still wet it didn't exactly work so what I ended up doing was just tapping that on um, and it ended up being fairly thick and so I didn't want to wait and so I went ahead and I took my heat tool to kind of dry that up and I actually love the texture that heating it and creating those bubbles makes as well as the texture that was already there just from me tapping that silicone brush um, on the gesso. And so I, I think it ends up working uh, just because I think it adds some really fabulous texture. And next, then next I'm using the 6x6. And now I'm going to use this awesome stencil. It's called Distorted Chess. It's a 6x6 stencil. And if you'll remember, my card is a 5x7. And so I will end up moving that down once I get the ink stenciled on the top portion. But I'm using an old VersaFine ink, uh, ink pad along with a finger dauber. And as you can see, that gesso wasn't completely dry. So I'm glad I used this old pad instead of the brand new one that I have. And um, then I'm just going to apply that all over that top portion and then I will lift that stencil up and try and get it somewhat evenly so you can't tell that there's a break in that, in that uh, pattern. And then I'll keep on applying that ink towards the bottom. And I think that gesso that's kind of wrinkly um, creates a really cool effect um, for the background. But I love the stencil because I just like, like the wave of it and the, just the distortion I guess you could say <laughs> um, and then I'm going to take a piece of watercolor cardstock and I'm going to use some distress spray inks and I am using the candied apple first so I'm going to spritz that on and then I will spritz the aged mahogany as well and then once I have those two spritzed on I am going to spritz that with water to kind of move that ink around a little bit and then I'm going to take my heat tool to dry that and um, it doesn't dry as vibrant as it looks right now on the screen. And so once I have that 
um, dried. I will take the distressed oxide in candied apple and go back over that with my blending brush just to brighten it up a little bit and uh, kind of get that uh, red color to come out a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take some water and spritz it to make those watermarks. And then because the stamp set has coordinating dies, um, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp up all of the numbers that come in the stamp set um, onto this red background. And I'm gonna use these fabulous dies to uh, go ahead and cut all of those numbers out. I just think these are so awesome. And so I went ahead and I used some VersaFine black ink to stamp these up. And I went ahead and stamped the numbers up with the VersaFine ink pad, the one that is drying up a little bit. And so it gave me that really light ink that I wanted. I didn't want it to be really dark. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and take all of my elements and kind of dry fit all of the pieces to see how I want them. And I'm gonna add a ribbon to the top of this since it's not a card. Um, and I'll probably just go ahead and hang it somewhere in my craft room just as a uh, decoration. And since there is a lot of texture in the background, I did go ahead and use both my tape runner and my liquid glue to adhere these pieces. And that worked really well getting them uh, to stay on that background. And I'm just gonna place all of my elements around the card. Um, I did go ahead and stamp up the sentiments, um, all of the sentiments that come in the stamp set and cut them out and adhered those as well. And then I'm just going to take this ribbon piece and run it through that hole that I punched and make a bow. And that's going to finish off this card. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did like this video or find it informative, please go ahead and give a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget the new release is tomorrow and it's available for pre-orders. And I have to say personally that this is probably one of my favorite releases from Visible Image. It is just entirely awesome. Everything in it is awesome. So uh, this rabbit is not a part of the new release. It was previously released, so that is available. Um, but here are some of the samples that I did for some of the new products. Pre-orders for these products start tomorrow. That's Friday, January 21st and they will start shipping, I believe, the second week of February. There's lots of inspiration and ideas over on the Visible Image Facebook group as well as the Instagram. And for the next couple of weeks or so, the design team will be uh, sharing inspiration with these. So I encourage you to uh, go ahead and follow the Facebook page and blog if you are interested. And that is it for me. Um, as always, I thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to spend with me. And I hope to see you next time.